Hi and welcome to Code and Action. Last video we used the WeMOS D1 Mini with the SHT30 temperature sensor and also with the DHT22 to measure temperature as well as humidity. In this video we want to use the WeMOS to write our sensor readings to an SQL database. So let's get started. This little sketch uses a library for the SHT30 sensor and prints the temperature as well as the humidity to serial. To write these two values into our SQL database, we need to add a few libraries. The first library is for our sensor. The second library is the ESP8266 Wi-Fi library, which we need to connect to our Wi-Fi. We need the last two libraries to connect and write to our database. To connect to our Wi-Fi, we need our Wi-Fi credentials. After that is done, we need to define several values to connect to our database. The first is the server address, the user, the password of the user and the database itself. The last thing we need to add is a connector to communicate with the SQL database. In the setup part, we use the function setup Wi-Fi, which we will declare later to connect to our Wi-Fi. After that, we use an if statement to connect to our database. If the function MySQL connect returns true, we print to our serial port that we have a working connection. If not, we print an error. Now let's define our setup Wi-Fi function. We start the Wi-Fi connection with Wi-Fi begin and our credentials, uh, which we defined at the beginning of our sketch. We add a little while loop to indicate if the connection was successful or not. And we just print some dots if the connection is still waiting. And finally, we print that the connection was successful. Now we have to add some lines to the loop of the sketch. We define a string variable and create an SQL query with the humidity value inside. The table name is sensors.hums for humidity. The function sprintf doesn't support float numbers, so we have to use this little trick to save a float number to our SQL database. And with our formatted string, we can execute the query. Now we can copy the last three lines and repeat the same steps for our temperature. Now we can upload the sketch to our WeMOS D1 Mini. But make sure you use the right quotations in the brackets for the SQL statement. After the upload is finished, we can go to our serial monitor and see that we get sensor readings and the according SQL commands. Now let's have a look if we have our sensor measurements in our database. It worked and the last measurement corresponds to our reading we have in our serial monitor. I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and give it a thumbs up if it was helpful. Thank you.